India was a long-standing supporter of the struggle for freedom and democracy in South Africa. And in 1997, Madiba laid the foundation for a strategic partnership between our nations. This took the form of the signing of the Red Fort Declaration in Delhi. And this year, the High Commission of India marked the 20th anniversary of this historic event by holding a cultural evening. Mela was invited to attend. The event was held at a theatre in the capital city. Various South African and Indian performers were wrapping up their final rehearsals before heading to their dressing rooms for costumes and makeup. The historical background to the commemoration was sketched by India's High Commissioner to South Africa, Mrs. Ruchi Ghansham. The Red Fort Declaration is a very special document because it was signed during the state visit of President Nelson Mandela to India. On the Indian side, Prime Minister Devi Gowda signed it. It was signed in the 50th year of India's independence. This is a document on which much of our relationship has blossomed. Honorable Nelson Mandela was given the Bharat Ratan, the highest civilian honor. At the same time, he was also given the Gandhi Peace Prize. The program included performances of songs that have become strongly associated with the respective nations, such as Vande Mataram, which has been adopted as India's national song. Members of the Drabangi Dance Theatre performed a dynamic tribute honouring Indo-South African relations and the memory of Madiba, the importance of which was highlighted by the respected choreographer, Jay Spiri Mupin. It's important to keep Mr. Mandela's legacy alive, his values, his ideals, his vision for this country. values and about not taking it for granted. Freedom, it's a valuable asset that's been given to the South Africans. Uh, it's something that we need to all, going forward, need to make sure that we fight to retain the freedom that we have had. When we learn about our histories and we learn about people who actually died and really believed in freedom, then we realize how important it was. Come together as one people, live in peace, live in harmony, and let's work hard to make sure that our country is the best place to be in the world. I hope that the people of South Africa will remember what the first president of South Africa said, uh, which is that this is a rainbow nation where all South Africans can live as equal citizens. And I hope that this legacy will be built upon by future generations. 